Hello, this video is for those that are migrating from TIPCO Scribe Online over to TIPCO Cloud Integration. We're going to show you the steps that are needed to be followed in order to make this successful. We're going to first talk about login, how you access the system, adding team members, organizational navigation, adding child organization if your subscription allows, a brief introduction of what's different with TIPCO Cloud Integration, next steps, and then where to go for any questions. From a login perspective, you should get an activation email that gives you access to your organization. You'll need to click on the link within that email in order to access. We've got some shortcut links here that we'll, we'll send out to you as well, which include URLs that will directly go to TIPCO Cloud Integration based on the region that you're located in for your organization. So for US, you'd use the link here that's indicated for a US region. For EU, you'd select EU. You can always go to the login page of cloud.tipco.com to access the main login menu. So we're going to start off with adding team members. How that works, how you add it to TIPCO Cloud Integration, inviting new team members, using the email and tab to add multiple emails at the same time, assign, assign roles, and team administration. So let's get started. Next step, we're going to show you how to add team members into your new TIPCO Cloud org organization. You'd select team members. You'd see integration as a capability on the left-hand side. Click on that. You'd select invite new team members. You type in the email address of those that you're trying to invite in. Use the tab button. You can add multiples at the same time. Once you have added all of the email addresses, you go into assign roles. From here, you can designate what role the users have. If multiple users were added at the same time, you can do this at a granular level. Administrator gets team administrator role automatically, which means that they can add additional users into it. Read only is a new role that we've added for TIPCO Cloud Integration users. It allows you to add a person that only has access to see, not to actually interact with the application. For example, they would not be able to create, modify, or update any applications. User is a role similar to what you were used to before, allows the user to create applications, but they're unable to access security settings and other settings throughout the organization. And then lastly, team administrator automatically adds the administrator role. You click on save and send notifications, and you'd see a confirmation that the email has been sent. Please make sure that the whoever you've invited into the organization looks at the email and clicks on the activation link to accept the invitation. Next, I'm going to show you how to add child organizations depending on your subscription. So you go back to the main TIPCO Cloud menu that you can access by just clicking on TIPCO Cloud in the upper left-hand corner. Select Settings, go to Organization, and you click on Add Organization. From here, you type in, you'd select whether you're adding a child organization or a standalone. Click Create, you give it a name, and click Create. If you've enabled the user sync setting, that means that all users that were in the parent organization would be automatically copied down to the child organization that you just created. I can go up to the organization navigation, and we should see that new child that I just created called TIPCO. Next step, we're going to go through what's changed with TIPCO Cloud Integration specific to Scribe Online users. The first screen that you'll notice after accessing TIPCO Cloud is that we've got a new icon that is available for TIPCO Cloud Integration. So if I click on the hexagon for integration, you'll notice that we've got integration apps. This is where you can access all of the capabilities at once. From there, you'll be taken to a new dashboard experience. This shows you 
directional information of what's going on with your organization. In the upper left-hand corner, you've got the number of apps that you've created within this organization. We've standardized the statuses across all applications, give you an idea of what is going on with your applications. In the middle section of the top portion of the screen, it shows you the number of apps created with the different capabilities. The first icon here, which is used throughout the application, shows you integrate applications. The next icon here shows you develop applications. This icon here shows you Node.js applications. And lastly, this icon shows you connect applications, the number of applications created and the number of instances. Instances directly relates to your licensing depending on which subscription plan you you subscribe to. You'll see an overview of the number of executions and the number of failures. So in this example, I've got 432 successful and three faulted, meaning I've got three row failures in one of the applications under connect. On the right hand side, we've got the top executions across all of the different capabilities. This gives you directional information. For example, if the same app is not at the top of the list that you usually see, it could indicate an issue. For example, if process credit apps is not the most popular app that you would expect to see at the top of the list, all of this information is updated for the last 24 hours in a rolling window and is provided as directional information. You can refresh at any time by clicking the refresh. If you don't want to see this information, you can simply hide the dashboard. On the left hand side here, we've got filters that allow you to filter based on the different capabilities and types of applications. For example, I can look at only on scheduled connect applications, on event, or develop. These will show up based on the types of applications you've created. Lastly, you can filter on all apps within your organization. My apps will show all connect applications. In the middle section here, we've got the different types of applications shown. I'm gonna filter on on schedule. So this shows the connect applications on schedule. We've introduced a new feature called Peak. Peak allows you to look at an application to see what's going on with it. Let's take a look at the marketing automation. From here, you can see the, the execution history, the number of flows, which is a new term for maps, number of connections in use. This is interactive. You can click on this display to show details here. And if there were any errors, you could actually reprocess right from this one screen. To create a new application, click on Create Import to create a new application. Here you've got a selection of the different types of applications that you can create. On Schedule, I would click on Create New Application. You'd be brought to a screen that is similar across all of the different capabilities. In the upper left-hand screen, I can rename this application. I can give it a description. I can define the agent that it's going to process on. I can disable this application by clicking on Disable App. I can create a new flow, which is a new term for maps, by clicking on Create Integration Flow. This is a similar screen to the same design environment that you were used to. The main changes are colors and how the menus appear. I can rename this flow. And I can add connections similar to how you would have add, added before. You can create a new connection in the screen by clicking on Create Connection. Let's go back to the main menu. So here from the dashboard, we've got access to the marketplace. And this shows you all of the connectors available under the connect and develop capabilities. You can search for connectors by using the search and it'll display information regarding that specific connector. You can enable this connector, which is necessary under the connect capability. You'll notice that develop connectors powered by Flogo are pre-enabled. Connections 
is where you'd see all of the connections across your organization or specific to your user. This function is similar to what you've experienced before. Environment and tools is where you'd find specific tools and environments based on the capability. Here I've got this filtered for connect, and so I can see my agents, and I can see the status of the agent. Keep in mind that the status of the agent is also reflected over on the application on the dashboard. I can deploy a new agent, either a cloud or on-premise from the screen. Lookup tables is also contained in this area. Here I can create a new lookup table or edit an existing lookup table. Notifications are specific to Connect and they allow you to get emails regarding errors or processing with one of your applications. You can just simply check in, check on or off any of these and hit save. Lastly, security settings. Security settings are similar to what you would have experienced before and this allows you to set up whitelist rules for event or API access, to designate only store data on the agent for on-premise agents, and change your API password. So here's another example of looking at connect applications and showing if there's an issue. So the dots here indicate that there's something going on with these applications. You could simply click on the status indicator and it would show completed with errors. This also shows you whether it's a scheduled application or if it's on demand. In this example, we're showing if there's an agent issue, which will be shown on the application status. So from here, you can click on this, you can see the last run, but you see the status is agent issue. You'll also notice that the, the change in the application status of error indicates that five applications are in the error state. And that would be across all of the different capabilities. So if I look here, I would see that there are five applications which have an agent issue. The last thing I'm going to leave you with is you can access the Guide Center in the lower right-hand corner, and this gives you details, samples and examples, additional videos, and a trial toolkit. So let's talk about next steps. Please continue to do all of your daily work within TIPCO Scribe Online. Take a moment to invite other users from your TIPCO Scribe Online organization to the new TIPCO Cloud Integration Organization using the steps we've provided. Create any children, for example, for test organizations or otherwise, based on your subscription. It's very important that you do not create anything new in the TIPCO Cloud Integration Organization until you've worked with one of our customer success uh, members. They'll finish the migration with you, at which point all of your solutions, all of your agents, all of your connections will seamlessly appear within TIPCO Cloud. Remember, we've got the help link at the very top of the screen and take advantage of our guide center, which will give you additional tips and tricks regarding the other capabilities that you have access to. Additional information is available at support.tipco.com. Thank you.